Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, my friend Marissa and I are going to be going to the Witch's Brew, which is a coffee house restaurant type place with a little bit of a spooky vibe. And it is in Massapequa on Long Island. So let's get going. That's so weird. I realized when he was like making a big deal about it, they probably did some like bougie ass fucking picky people who would like scream. Oh, Not even my feet, my ankles. My ankles are hurting. just got back to Marissa's house. It is a few hours later. Um, I'm going to insert some pictures here showing you some decor and what we got. Hey guys, so it is officially the next day. So I just wanted to give a little review of the Witch's Brew, um, which it's just called Witch's Brew. There's no the in front of it, which I think I've been saying this whole video, um, but it was really cool. Um, so I got the chicken Caesar wrap on like a spinach um, tortilla and I got fries with it. It either came with um, garden salad, potato salad, or fries. So since my wrap already had like a Caesar salad in it, I got fries. Um, and I got the ghost iced coffee, which was marshmallow syrup and caramel. Um, I thought it was really good. Apparently the chicken, which I did see, it was mock chicken, so it wasn't real chicken. So I guess like all their, I don't know what other like meat options they had, but I looked up what it exactly is. And I guess if you're vegetarian or vegan, you would probably already know this, but to people who aren't like me, I didn't know. But I looked it up and it said it's made of mostly like soy. But honestly, I couldn't even tell. Um, Marissa got the fried chicken sandwich with the salad. And we like basically split like our meals because like we both like really wanted to try both. So she got the fried chicken sandwich with the salad. And honestly, like I couldn't even tell that it wasn't real chicken. Hers came with barbecue sauce, coleslaw, and like onion strings, um, or onion straws, and it was really good. It wasn't, I was kind of afraid of it being like spicy, like I was like, can you get like, cause it said it was like buffalo barbecue sauce, 
So I was like, can you get it like on the side because it might be too spicy and they forgot to put it on the side. So I was like, oh, whatever. And honestly, like, I usually think like pepper is too spicy. So it like wasn't spicy at all. And it was really good. My wrap was really good. Both of those meals were $13.95, which is a little pricey, especially because it's not like actual chicken. Um, the iced coffees were $7, which I thought was pricey. Um, as you could see, they were in like small mason jars. Like I think for $7, they should have given us like a tall glass of that. Um, I think it would have been more worth it, but it was a really good iced coffee and the food was really good. It was also cash only and I kind of thought like maybe it would be because you just never know like nowadays. Um, and I was thinking of like calling up the place or looking and then like grabbing some cash beforehand but I didn't. I was just like oh whatever like we'll deal with it when we get there like hopefully it's not cash only. But it was, they did have an ATM, but like it charged us like a $2 service fee, which kind of sucked. But whatever, we were able to pay for our food. And yeah, we just both enjoyed it. I really enjoyed mine. Like I would honestly go back and get it. But it was like a little pricey. Like I think even regular coffee was like $6 or something. And the nice coffee was like a dollar more. Um, so kind of pricey, definitely. And it was mostly a coffee house. Like their coffee menu was like pages because they had coffee, then they had tea and like smoothies and shakes and all kinds of different like drinks. Um, and then they had like a full pastry case in the front, which you could also see in the video. So definitely enjoyed it. Would go back, but wouldn't rush to go back, especially because it was like, a 45 minute drive so i hope you guys like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye guys